Hello YouTubers, I previously uploaded a video on machine to machine to project. Okay, stop. Now I need to modify a bit in my videos because I got feedbacks from your side. Now one of the comment on my video says that I should not say hello YouTubers in my videos because uh, you can read out that comment. He has given a proper explanation. So why should I not say hello YouTubers? I'll be taking care of this. And secondly, many of you uh, have commented or have given me the feedback in the mail also that I am a bit faster in my videos that the people are not able to grasp what I'm trying to say so I need to slow down a bit in my videos so first of all thank you for all these feedbacks I will definitely take care of your feedbacks your feedbacks are definitely important to me so if you find any mistakes or modification into my videos into my channel you can definitely uh, give me your feedbacks so in the upcoming videos which i'll be shooting further i'll be taking care of these issues uh, but in the esp266 series videos uh, you won't be finding any modifications because they are already recorded they are under the process of editing but yeah i will take care if i'm shooting a new video like this okay so restarting my video Hello everyone, now previously I have uploaded a video on machine to machine talk project in which I have asked you to comment below the possible solution which I can fit into my room and many of you have given the possible solution, the possible projects. So in this video, I will go into all that projects and will give my views onto their ideas, onto your ideas that what is the mistake in your ideas or why I can't use your ideas into my room or which idea I can use into my room. So I'll be commenting on your comments. So let's get started. So first of all, I need to search for that uh, project videos that is machine to machine talk. Oh, why it is not coming? Okay. Okay, here's the first video. So I'll just pause this video and we'll straight move towards the comment. Okay. Okay, here are some comments. Okay, starting from this uh, one because this is the first one. So first comment is from Praveena. Praveena says that use IS sensor connected with ESP8266 which will going to trigger Adafruit button to one when somebody cross the stairs and this will trigger a light or whatever you want via IFTTT. Now Praveena, the idea is nice but uh, uh, let me discuss uh, why I can't use this. First of all, the IR sensor. I don't think IR sensor will be feasible, will be perfect as per the condition of my stairs. IR sensor, talking about the regular IR sensor, uh, the range is very, very less. You know, you need to be very much near to that sensor to get sensed by that device. And hence, it is also known as a proximity sensor. Uh, there are sharp IR sensors available whose range is far better than this regular IR proximity sensors. But that uh, sharp IR sensors are a bit costly or rather more costlier than this uh, simple IR sensor. Okay, talking about the simple IR sensor, I can't use because its range is very, very less. Uh, what if I need to attach this sensor on the ceiling of my, uh, you know, stairs? It won't be sensing at all. So I won't be going for this IR sensor. Secondly, you have used this Adafruit MQTT services and IFTTT service. Now, both these services requires an internet connection for ESP266 device to talk to their servers now in my case i won't i don't want esp to talk to the router to talk to the inter internet and then talk to esp26 i simply want a local connection between one esp to other esp i don't want any internet connection in between that so i won't be going to this uh or going for this idea so the second idea from praveena is is sensor okay again is sensor Connected with ESP will send the data to local cloud of Raspberry Pi. Now, this is something I wanted the local area connection, which doesn't require internet at all. So, local cloud of Raspberry Pi and Python script, which will send a message to our phone via Twilio API. Now, this is something new for me. I'll be definitely going through this Twilio API. Okay, again, it is free, of course, and I will definitely be going through this Twilio API. Now, this idea is better than the first because this is based on the local area connection but the only problem is IR sensor if I replace this IR sensor with PIR sensor I can definitely go for this project because I do have Raspberry Pi with me okay third idea goes like if distance is not an issue no not an issue for me then Arduino 
IS sensor and Bluetooth module can send data to our phone and make an Android app in such a way that it listens to the Bluetooth data serially. And if it detects one, then it will send you a notification. Pravina, what if I, you know, forget my phone into the hall, which is on the ground floor? Then I won't be getting any notification if anyone is coming up on my room through the stairs. So this is the, you know, drawback of your idea. But again, it is nice if I carry my phone regular with me, but I, you know, frequently <coughs> forget my phone here and there. Okay, so I won't be going for this idea. The next idea again from Pravina, which says we can use or we can also use Zigbee Mesh Network. Now, this is something, you know, a perfect solution for my room. The Zigbee Mesh Network in which Zigbee will be talking to another Zigbee. No internet connection, no mobile phone, no router, nothing. So I'll be giving a straight thumbs up to this idea. Okay, moving ahead. There's another comment from Yo-Yo H. Yo-Yo H, wow. Yo-Yo H says, I think for this situation, PA Sensor will do a great work. Definitely Yo-Yo. PIR will do a great work for me, but uh, what if, uh, what, what other than PIR, you know, only PIR will not, uh, you know, do my task. I need something other than PIR. There are those other things. You know, haven't commented that, but yeah, PIR will do the work. So give a thumbs up. Okay. What that guy commented or replied to the comment is there are better solutions than PIR. PIR can be unreliable. Do you think PIR is unreliable? That guy then do give me the better solution than PIR in, within that price range. I will definitely like to go for this other solutions than PIR. But what I think PIR is quite reliable because it senses the temperature difference. I can tell you when PIR becomes unreliable. PIR becomes unreliable whenever there is a certain object in the frame or in the range of PIR which is very very hot or very very cool than the room temperature because in the end PIR senses the temperature difference or temperature or radiation emitted from that object from any uh, human being or if any any object it senses that radiation if there is sudden change in the temperature within the range of PIR it will go to it will trigger so but normally it doesn't happen that is only human body or the uh, animals uh, skins are you know the temperature difference is uh, more than that of room temperature and hence it will only sense the human beings coming to the stairs so mostly PIR is reliable for this condition okay so next comment is from Shomil Shah which says so easy to use node MCU add PIR link with Adafruit and IFTTT to cat email, haha, <laughs> simple. It is really very simple as you have commented. It's really simple. I'm not taunting anyway. It is really simple project. But again, so I am not interested in using an internet connection. I don't have a router first of all, and I won't be preferring turning on my hotspot all the time because it will definitely heat up my device. So it makes, it doesn't make any sense. So I won't be going for this internet connection. Uh, to use this Adafruit and IFTTT services. So I want something local, uh, huh, something which works locally. So I won't be going to that project. Okay, the best solution award goes to Prabhat Chaudhary, which says simply lock your door. Yeah, this is the solution, man. I can simply lock my door. No one is going to enter into my room without my permission. And this is all I wanted. But okay, Prabhat. We are on Techie SMS. We want technical solution. I particularly want to make one project. I want to explore this electronics ESP 260. So I want something to be technical made to solve my problem. So, but you know, literally this is the nice answer. I already commented. Okay, so this all are the comments uh, which uh, I got on the video. I was expecting a bit more comments because I have a bit more subscribers. I think so. But anyways, this uh, all comments are very, very nice. Thank you for commenting. And uh, I gave my views to all of the comments to all of your ideas. So what's my project? In my project includes uh, ESP266 simply talking to other ESP 26s there is no in between router internet mobile phone nothing there are two ESP talking to each other that's it so this is a standalone project which don't require anything other than ESP 26s obviously your PI sensor will require and one more thing which I'll be discussing in that project video only 
so stay tuned for that so i'll be uploading that project diy video within 3 to 4 days i think yeah 3 to 4 days will be okay for me to uh, shoot a video and uh, add it that yeah it takes time for me but it will takes time okay so subscribe my channel if you haven't and uh, Stay tuned for that upcoming uh, project video on machine to machine talk. Till then, explore and share with me, Techie SMS.